Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and here is a unique air-cooled only mid-tower ATX build. First, I would like to ask you to subscribe if you like the content of creating your own custom PC parts design. If you want early access to these parts and how you can fit them in your gaming rig, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to help me grow my channel. I want to showcase custom solutions for gaming PCs and show you that you can make solutions for anything if you apply some design thinking and learn a few tools to make it happen. So to start, the specs of this computer, everything in here is housed in a Corsair 4000D airflow case and these 3D printed parts were designed with this case in mind. So if you wanted to use them in your own case, your mileage may vary. Power is provided by a Corsair 1500 watt modular power supply, which is powering my recently acquired 3090 Zotac graphics card. The motherboard is an Asus ROG Zenith Extreme paired with a 2990WX Threadripper processor, 128GB of Corsair RAM, and for my SSD I am using a 1TB Samsung 980, which is where Windows and all my files are going to live. All the RGB fans you can see in the case are Corsair LL series, except for the two ice giant fans mounted to the top of the cooler. For this build, I made two major 3D printed parts. The first one is the air shroud on top of the ice giant cooler to help direct the airflow out of the case. Now the reason why I made this shroud is that by adding two more fans to the top of the case, there would not have been enough clearance between the fans on the top of the case and the fans connected to the ice giant cooler. Having this shroud guide the air outside of the case was a better solution than overloading the case full of fans. The second 3D printed object I created was this breakout cable adapter that took one of the vertical PCI slots. So now when mounting this beefy 3090 inside the case, I can throw all of the display ports to the back of the case without having to route my main displays into the case slots connecting to the GPU, which honestly looks pretty bad. This breakout adapter is cleaner and keeps the inside tidy. I lost an HDMI port because I couldn't find a downward angled cable adapter, but that's okay for now. By the way, the vertical adapter I got for my 3090 is a 300 vertical graphics card adapter on Amazon. I knew there were more branded vertical graphics card adapters, but this one was the only one I saw with a 3 slot on the back panel, just in case I wanted to upgrade to a giant graphics card later. Overall, I'm thrilled with how this computer build came out. I managed to keep the back looking clean with the breakout adapter and how the cooler seemingly goes all the way up to the top of the case with the shroud giving it a lot of presence on the inside. I'll be putting all these 3D printed parts as an STL on Google Drive until I figure out a better way to share them with all those who are interested. Thanks again for watching, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later.